On today's subscription spot, we're having a look at yet another box from the folks over at Music Crate. This is Music Crate's box for July 2016. Got a little dented on the side, that's only really because my courier service, but luckily when they do ship these, they ship them in mailing bags, so they don't actually ship like what you see right here. A very bright orange box of movies, or music I should say, music, t-shirts, memorabilia, and so much more. If you're a big fan of music and music memorabilia, Music Crate is the box for you. With the July box now in hand, in my hands, we're going to get these opened up, or this opened up. We're going to find out what's inside from Music Crate. Let's go ahead and grab my knife. And I got Hank here with me. Somebody said, uh, Hank's not making as many appearances as he used to. Well, it's only because Hank was on vacation. Hank is now back. A little, little on the tanned side. He's got a little too much sun. Well, let's go ahead and open up the Music Crate for July and find out what we got. We get ourselves some tissue paper, black tissue paper. We don't need that. We can put that to the side. Got ourselves a card from Music Crate. As brightly oranged as the box itself on the back there. Thanks for subscribing. www.musiccrate.co.uk is your destination. Did you know that? Now you do. It's right down there. www.musiccrate.co.uk. I'm going to put that right to the side. The first thing that caught my eye was more tissue paper. We can put that to the side as well. We got ourselves a Guns N' Roses. Uh, is this a shot glass? Let's see here. Or a small mug? Oh, it's a small mug. Appetite for Destruction. Funny enough also that we are getting Guns N' Roses memorabilia for July, as of course their world tour, not in this lifetime, is currently going on. This is back from 2014. Well, you know where I am now. I'm in the jungle, baby. You're gonna die! Anyways, moving along. <laughs> I would never quit my day job to pursue a music career. It just would never happen. Also got ourselves a t-shirt. Another singer that I'm a big fan of is Alice Cooper. School's out. Alice Cooper there. Very, very cool. I like that. I, uh, I actually had saw... I saw the uh, Motley Crue farewell tour, and opening for Motley Crue was uh, Alice Cooper. And I have to honestly say, I think Alice Cooper was almost a better performance than Motley Crue. Just saying that. Somebody right now is saying, no, more, better than Motley Crue? Dislike. Well, Alice Cooper, I find even to this day, Alice Cooper can still put on a fantastic show. He sounds just as good as he did back in the day. Uh, Motley Crue, on the other hand, maybe not so much. And then we got ourselves some CDs. This is Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Babies. Consisting of tracks, Hello Hooray, Raped and Freezing, Elected, uh, Billion Dollar Babies, Unfinished Sweet, No More Mr. Nice Guy, Generation Landslide, Sick Things, Mary Ann, and I Love the Dead. One thing, too, that Music Crate is catering to is it's catering to fans of music that still like physical media. And I know that's sometimes where generations split. Newer generations look at this as, well, why would you want a CD? Whereas generations before love physical media. I still love pulling a movie off of a shelf, opening up, putting in a DVD player. Same thing for a CD. It's not to say that Spot doesn't listen to music on his iPhone. I still do. But I still like physical media as well. So that's why I really get excited for CDs. So we got Alice Cooper. And then while we also have Alice Cooper, we usually get two different artists. The other artist is Guns N' Roses' Appetite for Destruction, which consists of It's So Easy, Night Train, Get Get a, uh, sorry, Out of Get a Me, uh, Mr. Brownstone, Paradise City, Where the grass is green and the girls are pretty, uh, My Michelle, Think About You, Sweet Child of Mine, You're Crazy, Anything Goes, Rocket Queen. Uh, 12 tracks, still one of their... Probably not their definitive uh, album. I still like Use Your Illusion, what, Use Your Illusion 2? But still a solid outing. Love Guns N' Roses. Kick myself too that I didn't get a chance to see Guns N' Roses when they were touring. Somebody had offered me tickets, and sadly I just didn't have this. I didn't have the dinero 
that was able to go and check out their concert. So one of these days, hopefully, and it's not one of those days where I just never get a chance to see them, I do hope to check them out. We also have a Guns N' Roses uh, licensed sew-on patch by Bravado. It's made in England. That's a nice looking patch too. Guns N' Roses at the top, G and R down below, and in the middle, Guns and, of course, Roses. I could put that on my jean jacket. We also have ourselves an Alice Cooper postcard. Postcard right there. You put your stamp on it, send it to somebody that you like, somebody that you know likes Alice Cooper. It's like he's peering into my soul. And yet I can't look away, huh? Put it down right over there. And what else do we have in here? Oh, nice! A Guns N' Roses, let's see here. A Guns N' Roses keychain. Which actually has the same artwork there as Appetite for Destruction. That is, uh, feels like it's heavy metal. <laughs> Very cool though. Anything else in there? No, nothing else. So let's have a look at some of the things that we got inside July's box from the folks over at Music Crate. A School's Out t-shirt from Alice Cooper. An Appetite for Destruction mini mug. Put some pencils and stuff in there. An Appetite for Destruction keychain. Appetite for Destruction CD. A postcard for Alice Cooper. A patch for Guns N' Roses. And finally... Uh, billion Dollar Babies from Alice Cooper. This comes to us all, or came to us for all, all from the folks over at Music Crate. If you'd like to get Music Crate and Music Memorabilia delivered to your house every single month, don't delay. Click the link down below, or you can head over to www.musiccrate.co.uk. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way as well. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.